So you clicked this video because you probably have a cybersecurity job interview coming up soon, or you plan on interviewing for a cybersecurity position sometime in the future. Well, I'm here to help. In this video, I'm going to be giving you three ways that you can boost your cybersecurity interviewing skills in order to have a successful cybersecurity job interview. Also, be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video for a bonus tip. With that said, let's get right into it. What is up guys, welcome welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day, and on this channel I talk about cybersecurity and life stuff. So let's just get right into the tips that are going to help you with your cybersecurity job interview. The very first thing that is going to help you during your cybersecurity job interview is your introduction. The way you introduce yourself, the way you start the interview is going to set the precedent for the rest of the interview. So this is your chance to define how you want the interview to go. This is your chance to tell your story in a short but detailed summary, share your experience, flex slightly about your career achievements, talk about your certifications and your education, talk about your projects and your external involvement. Every single thing that qualifies you as a cybersecurity professional or that directly correlates with the job you're applying for, use this opportunity to express all of these things and give them in a really, really detailed, but short and timely manner to the interviewers. This can help you really set the trajectory for the rest of your interview. I've had situations in interviews where I've been able to set the trajectory of my interview just by the way I introduce myself. I got asked questions based off of my experience, based off of projects or things that I could really speak confidently about. So if you're able to express enough skills, topics, experiences, this could potentially direct or lead the interview in a direction that's going to be favorable for you. It's also important to start the interview by thanking your interviewers for their time, for thanking them for the opportunity to interview you at that point in time, because they're taking their time to interview you as much as you're also taking your time to be interviewed by them. So first things first, your introduction. The next thing, this is something you actually have to do before your interviews. This is refreshing on your skills on whatever skills are required for this interview. So for example, I'm more biased towards the defensive side of cybersecurity because that's where I specifically work in. So if you're interviewing for an entry-level SOC analyst position or security analyst position or threat analyst position, you want to start by refreshing on the basics. So refreshing on the basics of basic networking, protocols, ports, and other generic interview questions. Now, I stress the fact that you should really, really refresh the basics of networking because everything that we do in cybersecurity is centered around networking. And literally 50 to 60 to 70% of interviews I've had in my entire cybersecurity career have pretty much started with some sort of networking question. So understanding the OSI model, understanding your ports, understanding how different network attacks work, understanding your different protocols, understanding IP addressing and different networking concepts is gonna help you stand a better chance, at least with starting your interview on a really good note, because your interviews are most likely going to start with networking questions. Also, be sure to research the position via Glassdoor so you can get more information from previous people who have interviewed for similar positions or the same position. So if you go on Glassdoor right now and you search for a position that you're interviewing for, you're most likely guaranteed to find other people who have interviewed for this position and have some experience and are willing to share some questions that the interviewers ask them. So this would be a really great way to refresh on some questions or refresh on some things that you might not have focused on earlier on. You can also reach out to current employees at the company for interview tips. You can reach out to people who work directly in that position or people who work in senior positions or related positions for tips on how to possibly prepare for the interview. And also days or weeks leading up to the interview, be sure to work on labs, read blogs, read cybersecurity news, listen to cybersecurity podcasts, and brush up on any skills or topics that you might have lost familiarity with. So if you have not maybe used a sim in a long time, it would be a really good time to go and try hack me and probably touch up on some Splunk rooms or to spin up a Splunk instance and just learn how it works again. If you haven't used a specific tool or if you haven't learned something, you haven't utilized specific knowledge in a long time, it would be a really good time to refresh on those skills in order for you to have a better chance at a senior interview. The next thing that's gonna help you in your interview, this is actually at the end of your interview. Always ask your interviewer questions. 
as much as they are interviewing you, you are also interviewing them. So at the end of the interview is your opportunity to ask them the questions. Ask them about their experience working at that company. Because you you're really you really do not know much about the company except you've worked there before. You're only taking them at face value based off of what you've seen from the outside. So ask them, ask the interviewer, how has your experience been working at this company? Why do you like this company? How is the culture of the company? And interviewers love talking about themselves. People love talking about themselves. So this is a really great way to kind of get the interviewer warmed up to you a little bit because now they're talking about themselves. People love talking about themselves. Also, if you've not known before, ask what team you're going to be work, working on. Ask what uh, specific team or what specific uh, what specifics about the role you're, going, you're interviewing for so you can have a better understanding of what the role is really requiring. Also, ask them what has made other applicants or interviewers for this position successful. So you might not be the only one interviewing for this position or other people before you might have interviewed for this position and have been successful with this interview. So ask them in their experience, people that have been successful at this role or people who have successfully got in this position, how have they interviewed? What has helped them in the interview or what has helped them in the role to become successful? This is also a really great way to get the interview warmed up to you because now they see you have an actual passion for this role and you actually want to be successful in this interview and in this role and they would want to do their best to help you succeed at the role or at the interview. And another question you ask them is about professional development. So personally, I really, really appreciate when companies um, have budgets for trainings, certifications, conferences, and all of that stuff. So if you're someone like me who is constantly learning, building new skills, taking certifications, who wants to go for conferences, this would be a really great time to ask them if the company has any allocated budgets for specific teams or for specific individuals or roles or for that role that you know you might want to know about maybe how much it is or if there's actually even a budget in place so they might tell you oh we allocate five thousand dollars yearly or seven thousand dollars yearly for professional development or they might tell you they don't and that would help you decide if you really want to join a company like that another question is to ask them how many stages of the interview they are so you are probably maybe in the first stage of the interview and you, you really don't know how many more stages might be required for the interview so that would be a really great time to find out what stages are there in the interview also a good time to ask them about the work situation so in this really uh uncertain world where we find ourselves you could be working remote most likely hopefully you might be working hybrid you might be working some hours on site or some hours you know at home or maybe like in a hybrid situation you might have to relocate so it'd be a really great time to ask them that question also you might you know have to work fully on site so this would be a really great time to ask them about the work situation and then this is one final question that's really, really, really bold, right? I only use this in specific, specific interviews, right? And I, I, I urge you to use them in only specific situations. It's a really, really bold question. And it's probably at the final stage of the interview. And, you know, they're making the decisions. They're like, you know, this has really been a great interview experience. We have loved interviewing you and everything. So we'll get back to you with more information after we make our decision. This is the point where you want to ask them the question, is there anything about my skills or experience that will make you skeptical about hiring me for this position. So th this is a really, really bold question. Like whenever I ever have to ask this question, it takes me a lot to ask the question because I'm not naturally a, I guess, a confrontational person. And this, this question could be a little confrontational and a little, um, you know, really out there. So you really want to pick your battles wisely, especially with this question. So I only ask this question in really specific scenarios. Is there anything about my skills or my experience, my background or my interviewing so far that is making you hesitant or will make you hesitant about hiring me? And what this question does is it can help you really reset or correct certain things that you might not have expressed or expressed wrongly during the interview. Maybe they think you are weak in network security or you're weak in maybe web application security or weak in security analysis or incident response. And you actually are strong in those areas, but you haven't shown those strengths in your interview. This could be a really good time to kind of, you know, show or to kind of correct that because you only have, you know, that one chance of the interview. You you literally don't have you know maybe someone calling you back to re-interview because they want to see if you have any made, made any improvements. This is your this is your chance, your last chance to make any improvements that you've always wanted to make during the interview process. So once again, that's a really really bold question. And the final bonus tip, the fourth tip, uh, is for you to send a follow up email or LinkedIn message to your interviewer or interviewers or your recruiter after your interview. This is going to help you stay on their mind. And this has helped me in a previous interview where um, I was pr probably the only person who sent a follow-up email to the interviewers. So this can help you kind of 
stay on their mind. And also, this is a great time to thank them for their time and to also maybe correct some things you might not have said properly in the interview. Maybe to, if you're unable to answer a question, you can say, oh, I actually went back and researched about this specific topic we, I was unable to answer properly and I found out about this and that. And that's, this is a really good way to give out a really good impression. So those are my, uh, my tips for successful, a successful cybersecurity job interview. This has helped me in several job interviews and landed several positions at major companies. And I hope you take these tips and they help you in your cybersecurity job interviews. With that said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please be sure to smash like button. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. Subscribe and leave a comment down below if you have any tips that's going to help anyone out there with cybersecurity job interviews. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.